black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, easy cheesy steak quesadizi. We got a uh, half thawed steak here. I just had it freezing in the fr freezing in the frozer, frozer, <laughs> frozen in the freezer. I'm gonna bust out the mandolin. It's easier to shave this way, but I'm just gonna shave strips off the steak because that's how I want it. I want it to be not too thick, maybe a little thinner, so that we can uh, cook this up kind of almost. I want to say almost like Philly cheesesteak style. But you can strip it off with your mandolin just like this, as such, as so. All right, so strip steak really turned into a strip steak for real, into tiny, nice little thin strips. Put that out to the side right now. One more little prep task, and then we're hitting the pan. All right, cutting board and mandolin went for a thorough wash. Next, I want some nice thin onions to cook with these. So we got red onion here, mandolin readjusted to super thin and uh, go ahead and get some thin onions. All right, so we got our nice thin, thin, thin onions. Next, we gotta take it to the pan. Okay, so oil in the pan to get medium to pipe in. Don't go too hot, but we do want a little attitude on it. All right, so the oil is uh, dancing a little bit here, a little Saturday night fever. See, just a little simmer, just a little sound on that. That's all we want. But we're gonna come in with the onions and a peppers. Right on the bottom, spread them around, all around. We got our pepperoncinis diced up here, spread around even distribution. Bring them into the center. And then we're coming in with our strip steak. And then we're gonna press. All right, so we got some good little bit of browning on here. Nice little crisp, got all broken up here. Now we gotta take it to the tortilla. All right, let's slide in this tortilla. Don't mind me coming in with a little bit of whiz for adhesive, also for the cheesiness. <laughs> Somebody recently said that cheese whiz seems Kind of nasty. Can't say I would disagree, but it does provide delicious flavor, and I cannot lie about that. But we offset the cheese whiz with some real cheese, of course. Still gotta have that. And then we simply come in with half our steak mixture for this one. We'll be doing up two of these bad boys right now. Little flipperoo over. Press the edges. Press her down. And we do a light oil coat because we're gonna go for a toast. And then we're pretty much done after that. And then we go in two half moons. And then we go in back to back two half moons to make a whole moon. Perfect fit. And once we're in here, brush this side for when we do our flip. Just a light coat, just a light coat, that's all we need. So can we execute the perfect flip and the perfect toast? Well, we'll see. Oh, looking good for the toast. How about the flip? Oh, I would say that's a, a 9 out of 10 right there on execution. Let's get this lip out. Round two, fight. Ooh -wee. Looking absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. Two perfect quesadizis sliding right out. What you think, perfect toast? I'd say so. All right, time for a little center reveal. Little cross section action. Where are we at? Nice. That's what I like. Nice, simple, perfect, thin, a little cheesy. 
absolutely excited to get to these. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Steak and cheesy quesadizies. This feels like, like a late night munchies meal to me, um, which it kind of is right now, to be honest with you, but it is my one meal a day. It's just I eat kind of later at night because I fast throughout the day. Anyhow, perfectly toasted. Nice little just, you know, not too crazy, just the right amount of interior. Still want to get them while they're cheesy and hot. I got sour cream and I got taco sauce right here. So let's get into a bite of this immediately. Just because I'm so ready. But boom, there you go. First bite's for you. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Try a bite just uh mm -hmm. straight up with the steak. Sauceless. It's fantastic. exactly how I wanted it. I wanted it like nice and thin steak, not too chunky. Just a few ingredients. I feel like you can overdo quesadillas. Where they become too complex. They start to get wet from too many veg. Things of that nature. I enjoy to keep them simple. I've had this steak sitting in my freezer for like a week now. And I just been thinking like, what am I going to do with it? Like, do I do it just like a regular steak meal? Like, you know, or do I do something different? And I was just like contemplating. I saw the tortillas. I was like, what if I made steak quesadillas? And so here we are. A little hot pepper in there. Pepper and Cheney dreams. I'm usually the, usually the type of guy that leans towards chicken or beef. But I gotta say, the steak is uh, prevailing right now. Nice and thin. Amazing simple meal. All right, the most important thing to touch on in this video 
a uh, fellow creator. I'm not sure if she makes videos too much anymore. Uh, reason being, she was diagnosed with cancer. Lottie loves. It's no secret. She told it in her community tab. I have uh, been checking in on her periodically here and there, just wish, you know, giving her well wishes and everything, trying to. Keep positive spirits alive. And just today, at the time of this video, the filming on this day of this video, she has been diagnosed as cancer free. So that is a win for her and her family. and everybody who's been praying for her. I'm so happy for her. And uh, just good news. So Lottie, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, you probably will be, you're very loyal to me. Congratulations, I'm so happy to hear that. I've brightened my day a lot. Hearing that today. Because, you know, life in the last, like, long time, but even in the last while, just has not been the funnest ride. But then you get, you just get chin checked into perspective and you think like, oh, somebody's battling that. So it's like, you know what I mean? So everything's fine, you know, technically. In my personal experience. I'm not dealing with anything nearly that serious with that much gravity, so. Not just like brighten the spirits, gives hope. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you in my comments who have watched her channel, so. If that's news to you, you can have that uh, that peace of mind now too. Oh, fuck cancer, big time. Lost both my grandparents to it. Young, my grandma was 69. And then my grandpa made it to a pretty normal age, 77, 78 for a man. But my grandma went young. Fairly young. She lived a whole full life, you know, had a full family and everything, but 69 is a little young. A fridge skin tossed together for the one meal today. Still pretty uh, low carb. Tortillas are pretty friendly for carbs, which is great. They actually make tortillas that are like carbless as well. I gotta look into those. But anyhow, um, good news. I'm glad she's okay. And, uh, you guys know what to do. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.